Hi everyone, today we will demonstrate um, building a sample HTTP service with Eclipse Libra and also the use of War products. We will start with defining a server. Uh, we will choose Econox as the server. You choose the folder. Uh, you should download it before you start this demo. Just next and finish. Here we have our new Econox runtime defined. Now uh, I will set the target platform and I will choose some bundles from the Eclipse Econox SDK. Uh, you do not need all the bundles to run this demonstration. Uh, I already copied some of them into a folder called target platform. Uh, you can see that there is um, a few bundles here. Uh, so if I look at them, um, these are the bundles that we will need to build an HTTP service using Econox. Okay, let's save and these will be um, set as a target platform for this runtime. Let's create a new OSGI bundle and uh, we will do this by creating a plugin project and uh, let's name it sample HTTP and it will be a standard OSGI bundle. Just we go with the defaults in the wizard. I will create an activator where we will register services and we do not use any template. Uh, let's stay with the normal view and here is our bundle. You see that there's an error that's because of the target platform. Uh, we have to fix it so that it can uh, resolve the bundles that it needs. In this case it's the OSGI framework. Now I will choose the Econox because I set the target platform to be that one. You can see that the problem has disappeared. Okay, I try to add this bundle to my runtime. It doesn't allow me. It's because this is not an OSGI bundle yet. So let's configure uh, so that it becomes an OSGI bundle. This will add a facet, an OSGI bundle facet. And if I attempt to add it to my runtime now, it will be listed. Okay, so I add it to my runtime. Um, now let's uh, check our bundle project. It's compiling properly. There is an activator. I have to register my HTTP service in here. I don't want to write the code here, so I will just copy and paste it from my uh, folders. Um, I did this demo beforehand. So here's the registration code that's needed, and there's a servlet. And um, now, of course, it's not compiling because it doesn't have uh, the imported packages. I need the Javax servlet. I need the Javax service HTTP, then OSGI service HTTP, and OSGI service util tracker. So you just add these by clicking the proper ones. There we go. And um, when I say apply, all the problems will disappear. Um, now let's try to run this. I will choose OSGI run, not uh, standard start and debug. This does everything in the proper order. So let's click on OSGI run. There will be one error displayed on the console. It's because HTTP port 80 is not allowed. Um, I have a permission problem. I need to fix this. This is an OSGI service parameter that I have to set. And I have to set it with my runtime platform. So let's just open it. Open the launch configuration arguments. And it's a VM argument. It's an Equinox argument. Econox HTTP Jetty HTTP port. I'm using the Jetty as my HTTP service container. Okay, and this will change this port to 8080. Now I'll save these changes, um, and then if I start it again, that problem will disappear. Okay, let's look at the console, and um, uh, if I look at the bundles, everybody's active. We can test it. So. I know that my port is 8080, so localhost 8080, and I register my servlet as hello world. Um, so if I just type that, there we go. Our servlet is running. Now let's put a uh, maybe a static HTML file, and that's also registered in the activator. And uh, let's copy it under the source folder. And uh, if I just write the hello world.html, that should also display. 
Well, that's the first part uh, of this demonstration. In the second part, we will build a Roar product. Roar product allows you to deploy Equinox into a servlet container. And uh, this is a very complex setup process. So we will use the Roar products to simplify it. It's a um, normal Eclipse PDA product configuration, but it allows to create a WAR file with everything in it. Okay, so we create the WAR product, and we just give it some application product IDs and version numbers. Then we have to configure it. And um, in the configuration page, uh, you will see that it has already selected some of the required bundles. I will add to these uh, my own uh, bundles. If I validate it now, it, you'll see that there is it's missing a few things like the sort of bridge bundles and everything like that. So these are very complex things to configure. So this tool has it nicely. For example, uh, helps you very nicely. If you hit add required bundles, it will add them. and. Um, if you validate it again, uh, you'll see that there are no problems left. Ignore the problem sign on the HTTP server bridge for now. But, and these libraries are the ones that are needed in the webinf lib folder in a WAR file. Uh, so it will add the required, in this case, which is the servlet bridge, which allows the servlet container to talk to Equinox. Okay, it's ready. So we can create a sample WAR file. Uh, you can take this WAR and deploy it onto any servlet container, such as a plain vanilla Tomcat application server, and will run Equinox and your bundles inside a servlet container. There you go. We hit finish, and uh, it creates a WAR file. Let's check the full file on the desktop. There we go. It's our sample WAR file. Uh, thank you for watching our demonstration. And I um, hope you try Eclipse Libre tools uh, to build interesting OSGI applications.